I'm Rob from Skid Steer Genius and today I'm going to show you how to wire up the controls for a Wolverine cement mixer. Uh, there's also a few others that are on the market. Uh, they originate in China and what happens is they only come with just a piece of wire coming off a DIN connector. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use one of our spade lug connectors with our uh, with either a 14 or an 8 pin connector on the other end and we're going to wire it in and get this thing going. Okay so the first thing is we take a, a number one Phillips I'm just going to unscrew this, okay, and then all you do is reach into the corner here, the flathead screwdriver, you pull this out, okay, and actually this doesn't have spade connectors, it has these little uh, lugs in here, so we're just going to disconnect each side. Okay, and you'll see there's another one down here. This is for frame ground. We don't use that. We're only going to use these two side to side connectors. So in this case, I've got uh, spades on here. So I'm going to chop these off, strip them back, uh, feed them through here, through this, and then I'm going to screw them into here and put the connector back together. Okay, so all I do is cut these off, strip them back. Feed it through here. It's a little rubber boot in here. I gotta get through. Okay, there's my two wires. You don't have to worry about plus or minus because in this solenoid, as long as you don't use this frame ground here, this is one end of a coil of wire. It coils around inside and this is the other end and it's all completely insulated so it doesn't matter. So all you have to do is connect these up. We don't care even which direction is ground. It really doesn't matter. Right. Slide this back together again. Okay, snap this in. Like so, put the screw back in. And then use your hoses, just get a few tie wraps, use your hoses to tie wrap to. Always allow a little bit of excess here so that you don't have a hard angle coming out of the connection. Uh, route it, pull any of the loose stuff back up inside here uh, so you don't have too much work getting off the end. Another thing to note on these, um, I did visit this factory in China. Uh, they only have an old bobcat when they were sizing this up, so they put the valve right in the center. If you have a power bob attach, the bob attach is going to hit this. So if you bought one of these, the first thing you're going to have to do is cut these off and move this down, down around the corner here so it gets out of the way, or tuck it up along the side, over on this other side here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to put this on the machine. In fact, the machine I have today, we haven't set this up because it's a brand new uh, cement mixer, so I'm not able to operate it that way, so I'm going to actually just have it connected with the hoses but not actually uh, connected onto the machine, just to show you how this operates. So the one thing to understand with these type of selector valves is this is a selector valve. It does not turn the pump on in your machine. So as you're running this to, to mix cement and to reverse it to, uh, to back mix it, you have to make sure you're using this or your trigger. However, when you go to open and close the chute, you're going to stop all functions so you don't want the pump going. You're going to select the function so that we're actually selecting the valve hear that okay we select the valve and then we use our pump control again either forward or reverse and that's going to open or close the chute so I'll demonstrate that now
that's something really important that everybody needs to know because they seem to miss that, that that valve only selects. So it allows the flow to go out to the secondary set of hoses, which runs that cylinder, which opens and closes the chute. However, you still need to operate the pump control. So when you're under normal mixing conditions, you're using just the pump control, either latching it on or operating the, uh, the toggle to make it go forward or reverse. But when I want to go and switch over and I want to make the chute open and close, then I select the chute and I still use my pump control. So now I'm using two functions at the same time. So very important to note. If you've enjoyed this video, we hope you come back often and buy your products only from Skid Steer Genius. And we really hope that you learn something from all these videos. Go through our FAQ section, go through our other videos because there's a lot of things to learn and uh, I think you'll get a lot out of it. So thanks very much and have a good day.